Verity, my sincere apologies for earlier on. I'm, it's one of those things. I just I tripped up. <laughs> okay. As I said, we've come this far, we've made it this far, but not without some glitches. Um, I don't know whether everyone's aware. You probably are aware now that uh, about is it how long ago, Sarah? About two weeks, two weeks ago. Now you break your toe. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Uh, <laughs> Jane and I were driving back from some shopping trip somewhere, which get as you do, hey, eh? to get the shoes, get the wedding shoes. That's right. And um, we got a text um, from someone, and Jane was reading it in the car as I was driving along, and she said the text. She thought the text read. I've broken my face, you know, and I'm in an A&E, I've broken my face and I've gone to A&E. And so we so Robert, Robert, pull over, quick, read this, I can't read this text, Robert. So read over, so I read it from Sarah and she said, look, you know, I've broken my toe. And we, when we got home, we got a little message from her on our voicemail, which I, so happy to have you. Yeah, so yeah. So this is really, really good. So here we go. This, you'll find this rather interesting. Sarah was pretty matter of fact about the whole thing, you know. She'd broken a toe, but here she was dead casual about it, you know. Oh, well, yeah, I've broken my toe, and I'll well, just get on with it and, you know, get it fixed and all that sort of thing. So, yeah, that was, that was quite good. That's, uh, that's one of the little hurdles that we had, which is good. You know, she's never broken a bone in her body up till, uh, until this time. The only other time was um, Sarah used to do ballet. She, she, she did quite well at ballet, and she had a point, an exam on point. And about two weeks before that exam on point, she, um, sorry, what? How's it go? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, 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 I'm not going to show you that. No, no, that's for her, that's for her when her, her speech comes along. And um, she sliced a toe on some glass, you know, and that was, the, the exams are quite intense and you have to stand on, stand high. So that was the only other time she had anything go wrong. And what a coincidence about the same sort of timing as well, that important exam and this wedding. So, yeah. So go on, you see, you survived that as well. It's funny too that um, we've been here for about a week. Jane and I arrived on the Friday, the tenth, and we've kind of been helping Sarah out a little bit, you know, getting some pieces for the wedding, and because she's been a little bit immobile. Um, we got this wheelchair, and man, a wheelchair is a great thing to have. You know, in the malls, you wheel a wheelchair through there, and they're all going, "Oh, poor thing." You know, such a pretty thing too. You know, in a wheelchair. And in the shops as well, I mean, they, they, they fall over you, don't they? They bring you stuff. They never, ever bring you stuff. But when Sarah goes in the wheelchair, they're saying, here, Sarah, look at all this. <clears throat> you know. So there's advantages, advantages in being disadvantaged, <clears throat> I guess. Oh, dear. As we actually thought we might have to carry Sarah down the aisle today um, on a penny ride. You know what a penny ride is, of course. And you cross your two, cross your two arms like this. And you know, one person on one side, one person on the other. And carry her down the aisle, but we didn't have to do that. She, um, no one, you don't really know, but she's got one shoe bigger than the other. <laughs> one to accommodate the plastering and stuff. You know? So, that's good. <laughs> so anyway, that's good. That's good. Well, hey, look. But look at Sarah. Beautiful bride. You know, look at that. <laughs> you know, she was, she, she's, She's come a long way. I mean, from the little poppet that I used to know as a little Sarah. I mean, I, when, when I, I started writing the speech, and, and I thought, well, you know, <coughs> what about Sarah? And I, I sort of played her life back um, and fast forward, if you like. And there's a lot of things about Sarah that I could say here tonight. But you know, I just um, I thought I'd just go through some of the attributes and some of the things that I think about Sarah, and um, some of the things that that 
Sam should be aware of as well, if he doesn't already know. Okay. So, um, and, and look, for, for me too, I'm not normally the emotional type, but it puts a bit of a lump in my throat today to see Sarah sitting there with Sam. You know, it's a huge milestone, as well as a huge milestone for Sarah and Sam. It's one for us as well, for Jane and I. And I'm speaking on behalf of Jane and myself. It's a huge, you know, bit of a... I'm not the emotional sort of person, but I do, at the moment, have a wee lump in my throat, I must say. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. You so. Yeah. Tosser. Yeah. It wasn't here. For those for those that didn't hear that, that was from a Weber. It's a Weber with two B's, by the way. Okay. Got your pants. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can see we're gonna have fun. We already had some fun actually. All right. I'll move it along because you guys want to go on and start doing some stuff. Okay, so, um, it's a, as I said, it's a huge evolution for Sarah. She, um, she of a cute, cute, shy poppet that she was when she was young, um, to the beautiful bride you see here today. Um, some of the things that define Sarah, um, in my view, she's loyal. She's extremely loyal to her friends and her family. And she'll be loyal to anyone that she is associated with. So that's a real... You know, it's a property that I know that exists in her. Um, she's witty. She's actually inherited my slightly bizarre sense of humour. Um, and she really is. Uh, she has a real, real good sense of humour. Bizarre. She's patient. Well, look at the job she does. She, she works in childcare. You know, how can you, how can you work in a job like that and not be patient? Um, she's forgiving, which is also a good attribute of marriage, I can say. Very good. Yeah. Actually, forgiving, I've got to relate to you a small story about her forgiving. Um, when we lived in Westminster Street, one Easter, or well, every Easter we used to give all the kids a, you know, a Christmas bunny, uh, sorry, an Easter bunny. And um, they used to take it off their room and have it you know, deposited somewhere in a secure place, secure place. And Sarah had hers slowly and deliberately eaten by Jenny. You know, she had this, but they had these, <laughs> Jenny had finished hers, you know, Jenny goes through hers like, whoosh, it's finished, yum, yum. And Sarah was just sitting there, it was so damn tempting that over a period of about two days, Jenny was picking away at the inside of this, but, you know, and, and Sarah forgave her for it, you know, she didn't give her a hard time about it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so she's forgiving, she's forgiving. Hey, and also Sarah, Sarah's organised as well. Actually, I've got to say that um, Sarah has had a huge role in organising this whole event here today. She's been, over the last year, it's been her reason for living. <laughs> Hasn't it? And she's done such a good job of it. I mean, this has all run so smoothly, and it's to a large degree to Sarah's organisational skills and Sam's compliance. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. <laughs>